Now it's often difficult to measure parts on machines like this, this wire EDM from Sodic Connor. And that's really what we're going to be talking about today, a solution that, that Sodic have got. Yep. Before we talk about that, I want you just to tell uh, me and, and the viewers, if they haven't seen, what the ALC600G is and what makes it a little bit different to some of the other machines in the marketplace. Yeah, brilliant, Paul. So the, the ALC600G is basically our premium level of wire EDM machine. So this is encompassing all the latest and greatest technology. So you know, we've got our new iGroove wire rotation system on there, so it's all about accuracy and cost-effective running. Uh, the, the iGroove, that saves, saves money, yeah, isn't so it? Less we, wire because it spins during the, yeah, that's the cutting correct. process. Yeah, that's correct. So we're, we're looking at saving up to 30% in, in wire costs, so you know, it's really cost-effective. And I always know these machines for accuracy, speed and performance. You've got linear drive motors, which correct, makes them accurate yeah. and fast. That's it. So it's just repeatable accuracy all day long, you know, and, and through the years going forward as and well. And reliability as well, and a, and a great intuitive control that's it, system. Yeah, no, so. no backlash, no wear. They're, they're the main differences, really, to us against our uh, competition. And why? And that is why they're so popular. Now, beyond that, once you've cut apart, you know, off people need to measure it and they need to check it. And that can be difficult with this style of machine because yeah. um, often a probe is the, the parts are too small to be able That's to get it, in with really the probe. Intricate. The environment's not right for it, so they've got to take parts off of the machine to measure them. And if they're wrong, got to put them back on. That, That's, That's it. the problem. That's it, yeah. How do you solve that problem? Yeah, so inherently, you know, as you've just said, with wire erosion, generally, if you've got small, intricate parts that need inspection afterwards, especially optical in this case, you've got to take that off the machine, you've got to break your setup down, and that's all time away from the machine when you can, you know, you can be up and running doing something else. So now we've integrated with this Conoptica system here, which is integrated into the Sodic control, we can optically measure and inspect the component we've just cut against the DXF profile that we've imported into the machine and then get a measurement result from that. Okay, now let's say, for example, then you identify that it's out of tolerance. You can then basically... So, yeah, the machine's quite intuitive that if it is out of that tolerance that we've defined on the measurement, it will go back and actually re-skim the profile and then measure again to check that, you know, we're within tolerance. That's not going to get in the way of my cutting as well, though, is it? Does it... Does it move after you know yeah, after, so, the, so the camera system itself sits above and below and that moves out the way so when you're not using it once you've inspected your component you put it up out the way and then carry on machining okay now um the application that's in here that you're doing this demonstration mm -hmm. on it's quite pertinent too because i can understand exactly why you're doing it yeah, what so, is it i mean this this is really the high end of you know what you're going to be wire eroding so it's it's a it's a profile on there that's tied up to a two micron profile tolerance and this is actually a metrology gauge and this is the application this is going to be going into. So it's a metrology gauge yes, for so it's splines, going to be used, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be used for actually checking splines once they've been machined. So, so it's go, real high end. Go yeah. or no go. That's it. And, and, and what the result of this determines whether the, the, the spline's that's, right that's or correct, wrong. That's correct, yeah, that's correct. Okay, can this, um, can this unit or this solution be applied to all of Sodic's machines? Yes, yeah, so the, especially the, the later ALC range now that we have on offer, this can be added on at any stage. So I'd say with the machines that are a model year 2022, 2023, we can have this on no problem. Mm -hmm.